Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Sanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what you should be spending your tokens on, whether that's the Galaxy Opal rewards, whether that's the Dark Matter token rewards, or whether that's spending your tokens in the token market and buying silver or bronze badges, and basically giving just giving you guys a guide of what to do with your tokens because i get asked that a question a lot on stream and i get that a question asked a lot in youtube comment sections just about what to spend your tokens on should i lock in for this or should i spend my tokens on dikembe should i spend my tokens on throw bailey should i spend my tokens on the silver bronze badge packs and in today's video i'll be answering all those questions but before we get into the video if you guys are new here i'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below i post three or four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform so for their ado let's get on to the video the main comparison in this video we're going to make is going to be between the is going to be between the dark matter token market and between just the general token market for silver or bronze badges if you guys do not know a great way to make mt is buying these silver and bronze badges you can pull limitless spot ups dead eye you know quick first steps interceptors rim protector chase down artist brick wall all these super expensive badges that you can sell in the auction house and you can make a lot of mt especially from a thousand tokens that you have to redeem these dikembe matumbo or throw bailey now i quickly want to say how do you actually get to the dark matter token market because if you guys look at your screen you probably won't see the dark matter token market basically you have to work your way through emerald sapphire ruby amethyst diamond pink diamond and then when you get to galaxy opal you have to redeem at least one of the galaxy opals that do cost 750 tokens so overall to get to the dark matter token market it's going to take you over a thousand tokens just to see the two cards in the token market and then these cards also cost another a thousand tokens so to get the Kemi Matumbo to get Thorough Bailey starting from the start in Emerald tier it's going to take you over 2,000 tokens but let's say for example you guys already have a lot of tokens because I know a lot of people do so right off the rip I will say if you guys don't have a lot of tokens don't worry about going to the Dark Matter tier don't worry about the Galaxy Opal tier just spend your tokens on these silver badge packs or bronze badge packs and make as much MT as possible or what you guys could do is just save your tokens wait later in the year until maybe there's something better in the token market or maybe there's some better galaxy opals and maybe you can work your way up to the dark matter tier that's where if you guys don't have that many tokens what i would do is either just save them or spend them in the token market and spend them on silver or bronze badge packs now talking about people that do have a good amount of tokens we're gonna be looking at these two dark matter cards and maybe looking at some of the galaxy opal cards as well and just talking about is it worth it to spend a thousand tokens on dikembe for example or should you guys spend that a thousand tokens on silver and bronze badge packs so now we're going to hop onto the computer go into 2kdb and show you guys their stats and badges and kind of compare the cards to see how real how good is dikembe matumbo and thorough bailey the first dark matter token card we are going to look at is going to be dark matter thorough bailey he's a power forward small forward six foot eleven seven foot wingspan He's got an 87 three ball, 92 mid range, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. He's a really good defensive small forward power forward, having pretty much 90 plus stats in every defensive category. He's got a 95 driving dunk. He's got good ball handle for the small forward position as well. Really good Hall of Fame defensive badges. Menace, Pickpocket, Interceptor, Clamps, Intimidator, Post Lockdown, Rebound Chaser. He's got some really good playmaking badges. Overall, this Throw Bailey card is a very good small forward and power forward. In my opinion, he's got a very good jump shot. The one problem with the card would be the fundamental dribble style, meaning he can't really move that well on the offensive end. But for a defensive card, he's really good, man. Six foot 11, seven foot wingspan. He's basically like Giannis with a better jump shot and a better three ball. But I don't think he's necessarily worth the 1,000 tokens. So me personally, I would stay away from Thurl Bailey. In my opinion, it's gonna be it's gonna be between Dikembe Matumbo or the badge packs because I would rather get Dikembe than a guy than get a guy like Thurl Bailey. He's a center, seven foot two, seven foot seven, seven foot six wingspan. He's really good overall offensively, but defensively is where he's at. 97 interior, 90 perimeter, 90 lateral. But the one massive problem with Dikembe Matumbo is 58 steel. I just think that's way too low. He does have a 98 block, 95 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. He's a great rebounder. So many defensive Hall of Fame badges. Has Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, set shooter, has gold sniper, hot zone hunter, green machine. He's got a pretty good jump shot on very quick release timing. But I just don't know about that 58 steal. And you have to spend a thousand tokens and your center is going to only have a 58 steal in April. I'm just not really sure about that. So what I would say, we're talking about now what you guys should be spending your tokens on if you guys do have a good amount of tokens. 
I would say unless you really need a center or a small forward power forward in Thurl Bailey, I would probably just either save your tokens or spend them on these silver and bronze badges because from a thousand tokens, you can realistically make like 250 to 300,000 MT. So let's say, for example, you make 250,000 MT on a thousand tokens on silver badge packs, for example, you can go ahead and just buy yourself Kareem. In my opinion, I think Kareem is better than Dikembe Mutombo. And then when you're done with Kareem, you don't want to use him anymore. You can sell him right back on the auction house and maybe get 50%, 75% of what you spent on Kareem. But once you spend the 1,000 tokens on Dikembe Mutombo, you can't quick sell him. You can't sell him. He's in your collection forever. So me personally, if you guys want to do the smartest thing, I would say either save your tokens or spend them on silver bronze badge packs and then go buy what cards you guys want on the auction house. But if you guys really want to center and you're too lazy to spend the tokens and have to sell all the badges, I think the campaign throw Bailey are good cards. But me personally, I think Kareem's better. I think Artist Gilmore's better. I think D-Rob is better. I think Hakeem's better. You can make the argument for Patrick Ewing being better. And then for Thurl Bailey, I think even like a Rudy Gay is probably better. A Danny Ferry could be better for budget options, obviously. It's obviously like the Giannis's, the Zion's, those type of guys, the Paul George's. For example, Zion's only like 250k. You could easily spend the silver bat. You can easily spend the tokens on these silver badge packs, and you can just get Zion Williamson, who's a better card than Thurl Bailey, in my opinion. And like I said, once you guys are done with the card, you can just sell him back and get a good amount of your MT back. I will say though, these two cards are pretty good. But in my opinion, what I would do with my tokens is personally, I would just spend them on these silver badge packs or bronze badge packs, make as much MT as possible, and then go build my team I want, go buy a card I want on the auction house. Or like I said, you guys can just save your tokens, wait later in the year, and maybe there's a better dark matter token, mark, uh, token market card, or maybe there's some better stuff in the token market. But let me know in the comment section down below, what are you guys going to do with your tokens? Are you guys spending them on the Dikembe, on the Thurl Bailey, or are you guys going to save them, or are you guys going to spend them on the silver and bronze badge packs? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.